Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some cool productivity apps that you can test out for yourself. I did get a variety of apps so that if you have a certain workflow, maybe one will work better for you than the other. So I really hope this video will help you guys out. So let's get started. <laughs> that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is actually more of a feature than it is an app and this is a feature on iPhone that Apple introduced with iOS 15 and this is this feature here that's in your control center which is focus. So here you can see I've set a, set a few focuses that I want to use. Um, you can create your own focuses or use some of the ones they created for you automatically. So how this essentially works is you can create a new focus by clicking on this plus button down here and then we'll take you to settings where you can set up your focus to your needs. So you can create a name for a focus, have a certain icon for it and then adjust different things. So here you can say, see they have some focuses that you can choose um, automatically. So gaming, fitness, things like that. Or you can create a custom focus by clicking on custom here and then you can edit your focus like you want. So you can name it. So I'm gonna be naming this um, productivity. So here you can see this is how I set up my focus. I just set it to productivity and I set an icon as a light bulb and I chose the color. So that's how you basically categorize your focus and that's what's how it's gonna appear when you turn it on in your control center. So then we're gonna click on next. I have a whole in-depth video on how to set up focuses on your iPhone. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, I'll have that in the eye up top. So I'm just gonna quickly go through to the next couple of screens. You can set certain people to be allowed to send you notifications when you're in your certain focus mode or you can just set none and then you can also set certain apps for notifications if you want to or you can again do none and that's basically how you set up your focus and then your focus is ready in settings you can go to focus and you can do more in depth settings for your focus so if i go to productivity that we just set up here you can see you have more in depth um, settings that you can allow or things like that and you can also edit um, the allow notifications and things afterwards and one of my favorite things you can do is edit your home screen according to your focus so how you go about creating your home screen is you just create a new page like you would normally do when editing your phone. So you just hold down on your screen and then you have a blank screen. So you just fill it up with whatever you want. So I'm gonna quickly fill this page up and this is gonna be my productivity home screen. So now you can see I have it on all my screens but I only want this home screen to be allowed to be visible when I'm in my certain focus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again hold down, go to my edit mode, click on this little thing here that shows you all your home screens and here you can see you have all your pages so these pages aren't visible because they are set up for other focuses so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just disable this screen that I just created for my main home screen when I'm not in a focus and then we're gonna go to settings to our focus that we want to have for that certain home screen so I'm gonna need my productivity focus at the moment I'm gonna go to home screen enable custom pages and then I'm just gonna select the page that I want to be visible in my focus click on done and now when I go to my main home screen, I go to control center and I enable my productivity focus. It's gonna turn on and then you'll see my home screen. It looks like the productivity home screen that I set up for myself. So that is basically how to use the focus mode quick and easy for you guys. Um, like I said, this is just a quick little tutorial, but that is how I use it. I think this is a very cool feature and you don't even need any apps for it. So while we're on the productivity screen here, you can see all the other apps that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And the first one we're gonna start off with is Notion. Now Notion is honestly one of my favorite apps to use for productivity, anything regarding productivity. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about Notion and other people, but it is really a good app and I absolutely recommend it. So if you haven't heard of Notion, what it basically is, it is one place where you can take notes and just organize anything and everything in your life. And Notion is something that I think can be very daunting to learn because it is such a big app and has so many things you can do. But my biggest tip for getting to know Notion is finding a good template on maybe YouTube or something. Just watch a couple of YouTube videos and finding a good template that will work for you and um, just give you all the things you need and from that you can learn how to use Notion yourself and adapt to more of your needs. So this is my Notion that I have right now. This is my home screen. Now Notion is a bit limited on your iPhone um, as to certain things you can do on computer and iPad. It's more optimized and you can just do a lot more, but it does work. 
And um, there are so many things you can do on Notions. If you just want to do like to-do lists, you can easily do that. But honestly, Notion has so many great features that you can use and take advantage of to organize your life. I just recommend going over some videos and seeing how you can make it the best possible app for you. I did do a video recently on how my Notion is set up. If you want to check that out, I'll have it in the eye up top as well as a tutorial on how to use Notion that I have done. Um, it's just a very beginner's guide to Notion. But yeah, Notion I use to track everything in my life. I use it to schedule content for my work. Um, honestly, Notion is one of my favorite apps. So I'm not going to mention too much about it, but it's a good app. You can add databases, you can create pages, you can just do notes, you can make to-do lists, you can link PDFs in here, anything and everything you can do in Notion. So yeah, this is probably my most recommended app that I have for you for productivity, but I know it's not everyone's scene. So that brings us to my next app that I want to cover. So my mind here is something of a brain dump. That's how I can best describe it. I feel one of the biggest aspects of being productive that not a lot of people talk about is actually remembering things. And while to-do lists are great for that, you don't always have time or realize that it's something on your to-do, but it's just something you want to remember. And I feel like my mind does a great job at just giving you a space where you can just dump things that you don't want to get to right now and you can just reference them back later. So yeah, this is a good brain dump app where if you see something online, like maybe you're just browsing the web, you see a tweet, you take a photo and you don't know where to organize it yet, it doesn't have a certain place for you, you just dump it in my mind. So here you can see I just have a few things here that I've been testing out when using this app. And here you can see I have like a photo, I have a tweet, I have web pages, I have another photo. There are so many things you can just save in here and come back to later. And you might get a lot of clutter on this because it is like one place for everything, especially if a lot of things here, but they have a great search feature also. So you can see here on this photo here, it saved a bunch of tags that are relevant to this photo. And they even made like a color palette down here, which is really nice. So then yeah, you can just see all these tags and then search according to the tags. And it's really, really cool that it just automatically saves those tags for you. Here I also have just a bunch of speakers that are in a tweet that I maybe want to reference so I just search speakers and then you can see I just said SP and that tweet comes up so that is basically my mind it's one place to just dump everything it's a lot like contrary to notion where notion is more organized everything has its place this is just one place to dump everything and you can obviously just reference this later and organize it into your according apps if you want to but this is my mind I think it's a great app and it's just a really useful app if you need a place to just have some things that are on your mind, you can just get them here in my mind. Now the next app I wanna talk about is Smart Tasks. So this is a very minimal app um, for to-do lists and I think it gets the job done. If you don't want Notion that's very elaborate or things like that, you can just use Smart Tasks to make very basic to-do lists and it gets the job done. So I'm gonna go into Smart Tasks here and this is your layout. So you have four sections here at the top, and then you have your category. So I just have two categories set up for my to-do list. I have work and personal. You can make how many as you want. Um, and then you just have this section here, which is called next seven days. So this gives you a layout of your week and all the tasks that you have for your week. You can even sync your calendar to this app and we'll add that accordingly to the days that you have. So um, it's a really nice app, very minimal and easy to use. My favorite thing about this app is it also works just with gestures. So what you can do is you can just swipe right and then you can complete a task or you can swipe left to delete a task. And that is so simple and easy to do. You can also rearrange tasks here, as you can see, to different days. Um, if you are not done with it yet or you just wanna move it to another day. And then here at the bottom, they also have a section called whenever. So that's for tasks that you don't have a set day yet for, but you just want to have it written down so you don't forget it then you can set it in the whenever section. So I absolutely love this app. I think it's really, really nice. And when you have completed a task, so if I just click on complete for this task, 
I can also see it in my completed section here. All our completed tasks are there for your satisfaction. Then they also have this scheduled section here where you can just see all your to do's and tasks. So if you wanna schedule something more in the future, you can just go in here and just schedule it in this scheduled section. And then you just have options here and you have some settings you can play with and you can also go ahead and go to the premium version that they have here, which is more advanced and you can get more features with the premium version as well. But I do feel like the free version of this app gives you plenty of things to do and you can just create your to-do list and it's just a great app for minimal to-do list if you don't want something too elaborate. And another cool thing is this app does have a widget. So here you can see I have my today widget that just shows all my to-dos that I have set for today. And also Notion, I did forget to mention, also has a widget here. And the last app I wanna cover is called Session. So this app I got, not gonna lie, solely for the aesthetics, but I think this app will help a lot of you guys out if you're looking for something like this. So what this app essentially does is it helps you track how much time you spend on different activities. So if you find yourself wasting a lot of time, you wanna track your time and see where that most of that time is wasted, you can go ahead and use sessions. So basically you set an activity, so I can click on new activity here in the right hand corner. You can name your activity. So say you wanna track how long you study for then you can just name it study and you can add an icon so basically set the color of your activity. So if I wanna track, for instance, how long it takes me to edit, I can go ahead and go to editing and select start timer here at the bottom and then it will start tracking my time. I can also click on this button if I just wanna restart my session and click on this pause button if I wanna pause quickly and then I can quickly resume again. And again, visuals on this thing is pretty amazing. I love the retro look of it. Um, and then I can just save my session. So you can see in editing, I can see how much time I've spent on it today. And also on your main screen, you will be able to see all your recent um, trackings for different activities. I feel like this focus one that I set up can also be really useful for Pomodoro methods. So I just set one that says focus. I can go in there, start a timer, and then just use this as a Pomodoro timer. And again, aesthetics are just there. I love it. So um, yeah, you can just set your timer or just time yourself. And when you hit 25 minutes, you can pause it, go do your break, and then come back and continue on. So I love this app. I think it is such a beautiful app. Um, visually wise and I think it has a good premise as well so if you need the app to track more of your activities and what you're spending your time on this is a good app for you as well so that is what sessions is and those are all the apps that I have for you guys in this video today so that was my video on all the productivity apps that I recommend for you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you leave comments down below if you have any other apps that you would recommend I love testing out new apps so definitely leave some comments down below on any suggestions if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!